Well, here I am twice in one month, and uh, it's the blue moon. Uh, so it's the second moon in August, so that's why you got another dose of me. Um, and I'm back with another song. This one uh, has been around a while, um, but it's one of my favorites called Love Can Heal. Whatever mess you find yourself within Regardless how you got there When the edifice has slipped away and died Left you standing there Love Can Heal is very much about connection and being connected to everything. And perhaps the next evolution of that is a feeling of love for everything. I was trying to create this sort of sensual palette. And I think with the work that Buff's been doing on the immersive mix too, you're getting this sense of being touched in many places. And um, it should be a place just to drift off into. Uh, and um, that's, I think that's my aim. Right at the beginning of the song, I had some basic ideas and chords, but I was looking for this sort of uh, repetitive motif. I mean, I, I call it a carpet of sound, a sort of tapestry where these things are woven together, but not necessarily supposed to stick out, but just form part of a whole. I, th I think it's a dreamy, experiential piece. It sounds like an old hippie slogan, love can heal, but I, I really believe that um, it is a key element that if people feel uh, interaction, warmth, giving, that they're part of something alive, uh, not isolated, that they're much more likely to do well and be able to offer more giving um, themselves. That's so my experience, so um, that's what I'm trying to write about. The core of the visuals is a piece by Anthony Mikolaev, and he calls it a small painting of what I think love looks like. Anthony Mikolaev is, I think, a stunning painter, uh, and I'd seen some of his portraits, um, and they are with thick layers of paint, so there were sort of references to Auerbach and Bacon for me, um, but it just very physical, very powerful, uh, and I just fell in love. I have um, three of them at home uh, and a dr drawing. Um, so uh, it, it really connected with me, and so I was delighted when he was happy to, to be part of this. Uh, and I think the work then that uh, was done with Arbman Animation um, creating this video. Uh, it's very simple, but I, th I think very strong. When I first tried to get Anthony involved, I went round to his studio, uh, which is very close to where I live uh, in London, and uh, we started talking about different songs and images. But um, this, yeah, he'd said he felt a connection with this song, and uh, this was one of the images that he showed me. The great thing about the Love Can Heal piece. I mean, it just suited the song so well, I thought, so well. It just like, because I had ideas for other pieces and stuff and like, you know, I mean, you know, different songs and, but this one, when something just like, literally is like putting the triangle in the triangle shape, it just fitted, you know, and, and it, was, it was so nice because it, yeah, it, I, it's so nice when things feel they're meant to be. This is so tender. I think he manages to, uh to capture a lot of that intimate tenderness around love that, that is very hard, I think, to, 
to put into pictures. I could see my images coming up when I was hearing it. So, so you begin to home in. I mean, it's, and that's kind of how it starts. Working with Ardman was amazing too. So it was brilliant making these things. I love processes. I find it so interesting. I was very pleased that this one song seemed to connect to Anthony. And uh, um, yeah, I think he felt it was a, a parallel expression. And I love artists who take risks. I love, you know, and like he's always chopped and changed. And I like to do that with my work. And, you know, it doesn't just rest on this one thing. He'll tell stories in a different way. And that's what I really love about his music. I'm always really interested in chemistry where you have two mediums coming together because on its own, it does just something else. Um, if it's the correct chemistry, there's a cocktail made, there's an energy made, which is different, it's just fundamentally different. So that's it for this month. Uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, I will hopefully see you in a month's time. I'm just about to head off to Quebec and uh, to start the North American tour. Um, so hopefully I'll see some of you out there. Um, and for anyone who um, wants to find out a bit more about the music and the way it's created, on the Bandcamp site, uh, you'll find the deep dives. And I'll see you hopefully in one month's time. Thanks. Take care.